Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by RAN Group. My name is David Torres, and in today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a purchase order and how to create an item receipt from that purchase order. Let's get started. So to create a purchase order, I'm gonna to go to this receiving tab, down to receiving, and click on enter purchase orders. So your form may look a little different depending on any customizations you may have, but just some general knowledge about all forms in NetSuite. If you click on a field label, it will give you a description. Also, if there's a red star by the, by the field, this means that it is mandatory. So we need to make sure all those are filled out before clicking that save button. So I'm gonna create a purchase order for 10 designer chairs from Cooper's Office Furniture. I'll begin to fill this form out. So this memo is optional. And in NetSuite, you can also create and customize different forms. And here is where you would choose that form. For now, we'll just use the primary purchase order. So I'll add my department and my class. Under this items sub tab, I can add expenses and items. So I would add my expense right here. And remember that expense will directly hit our GL. So I'll just add an item for now. And once I choose that item, my description, my unit of measurement, and cost are all populated from that designer chair record. So I'll change my quantity to 10. And let's say I'm expected to receive this two weeks from now, so February 27th. I'll add this item. So if we want more information uh, tied to this record, we can add shipping information right here, billing information right here. And under activities, we can actually add it to a printing queue if we would like to print this purchase order, or we could email it straight to our vendor. But for now, we'll just save this purchase order. So this purchase order is now pending receipt. I'll copy this PO number. So let's say it's two weeks later, my 10 shares have come in, so I need to create an item receipt. So with that purchase order, I can use this global search bar, which is one of the most powerful features in NetSuite and I can click on that purchase order. So here we are, 10 designer chairs, and I received them, so I'm gonna click on receive. So now I have an item receipt form. Most of this information is populated from that purchase order, but we can also add a memo, change the form, but everything here looks good for the most part. Let's click save. So today we've gone through the process of creating a purchase order and from that purchase order, we received our item and created an item receipt. In my next video, I'll be creating a vendor bill and making a bill payment. Thank you for watching this video provided by Rand Group. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about NetSuite, feel free to contact us.